Welcome to ECN Trade Daily Video. Before we begin, it should be noted that any advice is of a general nature only and that your personal circumstances have not been taken into consideration. Hello everyone, my name is Rob Clayton and thank you for joining me. Well, as we view the US dollar index, which measures the greenback strength against a basket of six major currencies and is weighted to the euro at 57.6, has held for three and a half days to a bullish stance or more to the point since its return from the long weekend in observance of Labor Day on Monday. Still, the market has looking potentially to a bullish move, but we need to see a close from New York at 92.80. This, in terms, would see the euro fall further. Since the rejection of around that 119 level, we are looking down towards the region of 118.10 and 117.60 due to the close under the level of one. 1835. From the technical aspect though, the RSI is holding to a negative signal and the MACD not quite there yet, but still slowly declining. Resistance at this stage is seen around 118.55. The Australian dollar also follows suit to the downside, now closes under the 60-day moving average, and also the retreat from 74.65 has put the market very much focused on the level of 70. 3.35. It is assessed that we could see further weakness down towards the region of 72.80 and reassess from there where I've outlined. The reason behind that is that the MACD is still declining, no negative signal as of yet, but the RSI is beneath the midway point, so that supports the view. Also with the Euro, his all eyes look towards the ECB later today when it hands down its policy decision. Along with that, we do have the US unemployment claims to come as well. So then we might see a somewhat volatile movement into the Thursday evening session in the European time. Along with that, in the New York. Where I've outlined here in the yellow is the supply zone. That is where the bears are camped out. And as you can see, that challenge at 110.40.45 was rejected again. And now holding to a somewhat weaker stance. Not quite got that bearish case through as of yet, but still just building upon that pattern there that may see a further follow through to the downside to 109.70. A break there would give further scope to 108.70. But while we continue to see failure above 110.40, 45 area with a cap seen around 110 70 80 the bears should continue or even see a bull trap in place which may accelerate the move down but first of all let's see if we can break through that 109 70 to initiate that move yesterday the bank of england governor andrew bailey testified in parliament and said that the uk economy had staged a remarkable recovery even as he warned against complacency now, he did also say, and it was somewhat hawkish, that he warned that the country's economic growth was flattening and adding he remained uh, optimistic, that is. He remained optimistic that the Bank of England will hike rates in the next few years. So let's see how the market plays out. It was a bit whippy and we've got a bearish hammer in place here. So let's see if the market can actually restage and move back to 138.20. One thing to note though, the market did sell off to that level of 137.30, which was rejected. Still, the technicals are mixed, but the RSI is negative. So let's see how the market plays into tonight. Therefore, the sterling yen is backed away from that 152 area and that is with a break a breaking down rsi uh, could see further weakness into tonight to 151.20 beneath there views to 150.40 with a cap still remaining as i mentioned at 152.30.40 a very heavy candle that followed further weakness into last night's price action and still holds closer to that uh, target of 1770 after inking an intraday low of 1786 today from a technical point, we're just getting the married signal from the MACD. It's weak one, though, that supports the RSI's bearishness. That it could see this slide further. Reassess at 1,770. And wrapping up with oil, for the market staged a rebound overnight after crude pared back some of its losses, boosted by a slow recovery in the Gulf of Mexico from the damaged assessment from Hurricane Ida. New sources reported that the producers in Gulf 
are still struggling to restart operations. Nine days after Ida, the hurricane that is, swept through the region with powerful winds and drenching rain. Overall, though, I think I feel the market will probably see a rejection again close to that 69.40 or around $70 a barrel and eventually head towards 66.5 and reassess from there. Well, that wraps it for today. Thank you very much for joining me. And as always, look out for the intraday report. And I hope you enjoy the rest of the day.